Yo, did you guys see the videos I posted today on Instagram? 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23. What was your guys' favorite year, chat, out of all these edits? Your guys' favorite year for skating from me. 2021, 21 has my heart, 21. Ooh, a lot of people saying 21. 21 was, 21 was fire. 23. 2019 was your prime. Yo, stop with this narrative, bro. You guys think I was better back in 2019? Honestly, chat. You guys think I used to be better at skating? Yes. Yes. Not going to lie, kind of. I get this a lot, bro. Even in person. A lot of people think I used to be better at skating. It makes no sense to me. I, I mean, I kind of see it if like you used to watch the videos more back then and you don't really watch them as much now. You're sending hard flips down 11 stairs. Second try, you're in your prime right now. Yeah, that, was, that gifted hater YSL video coming off a month injury. Fucking hard flipping a late shove in the 11. In 2020, in the beginning of 2023, I was front boarding this rail. And that was like, that was sick. That was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's go. A year later, I'm front crooking it. And this was like around the time where I was like, I was kind of letting those comments get to me of people saying that I used to be better at skating. So that's why this last edit, the 2023 edit, these are all like flipping in. Like this was my biggest like era of progression in a couple years because I was like, I felt like I had something to prove to myself even, not just to the people who were like saying stuff, but to myself, I was like, damn, like, am I done progressing? Cause I, I mean, I made a video saying like, I felt like I was done progressing, but look at all these new tricks, hurricane. I had never done that. Hard flip back lip. When when did you ever see me in in a previous year? Hard flip back lip in an A frame. Flip front boarding that rail. I used to be scared to front board. Like this was my look at. And then going back from feebling that rail too. Like this was like my biggest era of progression. It was good to know. It was good to like remind myself. Like okay, I could. I'm still progressing. I'm not. I'm not done. I didn't plateau. You feel me? I think 2023 was like the best year for skating. And who knows? In two years, I could be looking at these clips. I could be doing some crazier shit on this rail because people feel nostalgic about the old vids. Yeah, for sure. But even if you even if you look at like the Instagram videos that I posted, 2019, I can still do all these tricks. Backs of a late shove. I did that in a recent vid where I went to Arizona, late shove from board. Like they're not like super crazy tricks. Laser flip off a two block, you know what I mean? Uh, skating in 11 stair. I just skated the YSL video on Gifted Hater's channel. Got a couple tricks down in 11 stair in two tries. So I still be jumping. I still be jumping. Okay, this clip that was that was got that's got to be. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. That's probably one of my favorite street clips. I haven't done that trick in a minute. I, I could bring that one back. I could bring that one back. Back smithing a park rail that I'm now kickflip back tailing a few years later. You know what I mean? Like there's there's obvious progression, but a lot of people tend to believe that I used to be better a few years ago. When it's like a lot of these tricks are just off little shit, or they're just. Like I still be flip late shoving. Look, it was a heel flip late shove, but I mean, I still be flip late shoving. Look, in the streets, that's probably one of my biggest flip late shoves right there. 2019, I was front feeble in this rail. A few years later, I'm flipping into it. Like I'm doing tricks in these past few months that like I could have only dreamed of. Flip front crook on the Chevy bump to rail. What? Finally got away from flat and drops in 2024. You have way more variety now. Appreciate it, bro. Like, I'm going to always have my bag. Like, my half cab lay shoves, late 360 shoves, the flip lay shoves, the dolphin flips. Like, those are my tricks. Even though, like, when I do my bag of tricks, people are like, yo, do something different. Tired of these tricks. Do something new. And then I do and then I do something new for a whole fucking few months. And people are like, used to be better, man. Because I'm, I'm not doing, like, the weird late shit. I was really focusing on, like, flipping into rails and getting comfortable with, like, medium-sized park rails. And I'm, bro, I'm hyped with with where I've come with where I've come on like rails and shit you could do the same tricks and shit now and more I don't know what people are talking about you're you're well better now yeah I could still do the same tricks all like I could recreate those edits and I actually do want to like go back and recreate some of my not the recap edits because obviously those are like over a few months like my best clips from that from that time but I do want to go back and recreate some of my like 2019 2020 edits even some 2018 because I feel like it'll be fun for a video just to go recreate some of my like three trick edits I've been sleeping on that idea for like a year now. I was definitely putting more effort in the streets, like off of uh, off YouTube, like actually getting clips for like a video, like with fuck dude and shit, going out uh, filming that type of street skating. And now it's like 
all content is all content focused. And I still go street skate. Even on, even on this video that I posted, someone was like, my one request is more street skating. I'm tired of the park clips. But then if you go back right here, street clip. If you go back right here, street clip. Right here, street clip. So it's like, obviously I'm not a fucking 100% street skater. I'm not in the streets every single day, but I still be street skating. Dolphin flip lay shove is one of those tricks I did one time. And I don't think I've tried it. I might've like threw it here and there at the skate park, but I've, I've never done it since. I've never like actually sat and tried to do another dolphin flip lay shove. I might've just thrown one out, fucking around. That'd be a good one to see if I could still do dolphin flip lay shove. Cause that was probably like my craziest, like tech weird late trick. And I just like, I, I didn't feel the need to do it again. Like it was like a one and done. I'm like, okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. You guys want, you guys want to see another dolphin flip lay shove in a video? That'd be sick. I definitely, you know, love all these eras for sure. Like, bro, the 2019, 2020, like the YouTube era. I don't know, like the videos at this point there. It just feels like looking back at those videos, it does feel nostalgic. There was it's just like the eras is different. But yeah, see, even on all these, like the tricks are like, like I still do like the same size stair sets, same type of shit. Another flip play shove. Like it's very much like the same bag of tricks throughout these years. And then when 2023 hits, it's like all new shit for real. If you notice, it's like a lot of back when 80 late shoves backside flips, fakie flips, hard flips, front feeble. And then I'm finally like flipping in all that in 20, 2023. What's your favorite trick you've ever done? It's gotta be the late shove down the triple set. Cause that's an MBD at an, at an iconic spot. That's for sure my favorite clip. How to not give up on skating. I can't really answer that for you. Cause I don't know if you have it in you. Like if you actually love it, you know what I mean? When I was in my early stages of skating, it definitely crossed my mind. I definitely, I did quit. I think I did quit skating. Even like something that you guys don't understand is that when I was growing up skating, when I was like 10, 11, 12, I would only skate for like six months or so. I don't remember how many months, but I would skate for like a short period of time, like a season type shit. And then I'd stop and I'd focus on like basketball or something. And right now, as I'm speaking, I'm focused on like streaming. Streaming is like where the most, most of my output is right now. People are even commenting on my stream videos and being like, I miss the skating, bro. Go back to skating. Oh, I miss the skate vids. And when I see those comments, that's another thing I want to talk about. Cause I'm like, sometimes people be in my comments. Like I quit skating because I'm going crazy with the streams and shit, but the streams are on a whole different channel, bro. I'm always going to be skating, but like this channel has never been focused around skating heart. I appreciate you cloudy. God bless, bro. Thank you so much for the $3. Thank you for being a stream. Hope all is well, bro. I'll get like DMs, comments, all that. People are like, yo, go back to the skating vids. And I'm like, bro, I do both. I have a whole channel called Boring Arnett for strictly skating. There's no, not much lifestyle shit on there. It's just skating, which is what a lot of people want. And I know you can't please everybody, but like, bro, let me rock over here. I'm having a great time streaming. I genuinely love this shit. I'm going to keep streaming. Why I bring up uh, me being younger, like, you know, kind of putting skating to the side and focusing on something else. Cause I feel like if I skate every single day, nonstop for like just years, I'm gonna get burnt, bro. I never want to give this shit up. I never want to give this shit up. So if I feel less motivation on my board, yeah, there's like, you know, a sense of discipline that comes with it. And it's like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm complaining about skating for people will try to spin it. If I, if I talk about like, sometimes I don't have motivation to go skate, people will be like, bro, you skate for a living. All you got to do is go skate like this now. Don't be complaining. And it's like, bro, I'm just, I'm a fucking human. I can talk about when I have less motivation to go get on my board, go be in the streets, this and that, yada, yada. If I have less motivation, I'm not going to force it because that's how you get burnt. So if I shift my focus to a different channel or to something else, let me rock for a little bit. I'll get back to like, you know, getting stacking clips when it, when it feels right. Cause that's when I'll get the best clips and I'll be having the most fun on my board. But my best advice to you is just, if you really love it, just, just keep doing it. You know what I mean? Just don't, don't put the board down entirely. You know, maybe take a little break here and there and then spin back to it. Cause like sometimes all you need is a break, bro, for real advice for getting over the fear of skating stairs. That's a, that's a hard one because I had a fear of skating rails. And one day I just told myself like, okay, just commit, just go for it. Like it's, it's a skate park. What's the worst that's going to happen. Right. It's like, it's a lot of here. I can only give you so much advice. It's up to you to actually like send shit and commit. Don't go too far out your comfort zone. Push yourself a little, but not too far out your comfort zone. You know, go from a three stair to a four stair, four stair to five stair and like do it over and over and over. Don't do a four stair once and be like, okay, I'm ready for the six stair. You probably could. You definitely, if you could ollie a four stair, you could ollie a six stair. You could ollie a seven stair. You could ollie more. But like, 
you know, take it and take it in baby steps and work your way up for sure. Also skate with people who are, who are good at skating stairs. It'll just hype you up to go for shit. Nikolai, thank you for the 199. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Do I still skate with Nick? Every once in a while, while he'd be working, we live an hour away. Uh, we need to skate more, to be honest. Um, I need to go out that way more and skate. But yeah, we'll skate here and there. When's the next mic'd up solo sesh? What do you guys like more? Do you guys like the mic'd up solo vids? Here, let me do a poll. Let me do a poll. This is for Boring Arnett, by the way. This is for Boring Arnett. All right, which ones do you guys like better? The mic'd up solo vids, the hour-long uncut vids, or the 10 to 14, you know, just the, the normal normal length uh, edited skate vlog. Obviously, I'm still going to keep doing all of them on Boring Arnett. I just like to know, like, what you guys what you guys like more. Because, obviously, if you look at just the numbers on Boring Arnett, boom. The, the top three most popular videos are all hour-long uncut videos. Appreciate you guys. These are crazy numbers for a channel with 45,000 subs. I appreciate you guys hella for real. 230,000. 160,000, 150,000, all in under a year. That's crazy. Main channel video don't even be be getting 100K in like under a year. Sometimes it'd be like, sometimes a main channel get 100K views in like six months, six to 10 months. But yeah, for these to shoot up past 100K in a short period of time, like the algorithm loves these. But I can't just focus on like what works. You know what I mean? That's why I'm asking you guys right now. What you guys saying? Okay, the 10 to 14 minute, the normal edited skate vlogs. See the hour long uncut videos are in uh are in last it's at 28 percent no yeah max the hour-long uncut videos 60 percent of the time they do pretty well appreciate you guys for the votes it's pretty close i'm gonna still be doing all these on the on boring Garnet. this is this pretty much sums up the boring Garnet content 